Hey, I'm Stephen and this is Solving the Money Problem. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm whipping out my crystal ball, making some predictions about the future. And I know there's a few nerds who'll actually do this, so please keep me accountable. I would like a few of you guys and girls to set some reminders to check back in on this video in exactly 10 years time. Here's my prediction. Toyota who are today the world's largest automotive manufacturer in terms of vehicle sales per year, literally the world's number one automotive manufacturer, will either be bankrupt, have been acquired or merged, and if by some miracle these morons are still in business in a decade's time, the absolute best case scenario, they'll be delivering around 10% of the volume of vehicles they are today. Now why am I able to make such arrogantly confident predictions about this company, the demise of the world's largest automotive manufacturer, with a 10 year runway? Surely they could make a lot of changes, anything could happen between now and then. How can I be so sure this is going to happen? There's two key reasons. One, Tesla is going to eat their lunch, and I mean all of their lunch, and their breakfast, and their dessert, and their dinner, and their afternoon snack, and their early morning tea, and everything else in between. And two, they have absolutely incompetent leadership. And if there's one thing that grates me more than anything else, it's incompetence. So in this video, we're going to follow the breadcrumbs, look at all the clues that make me absolutely certain that Toyota, in a nutshell, are completely and utterly f***ed. So, let's get into the video. And by the way, since I know there's a lot of crypto lovers watching, and people who like free stuff, it's your lucky day. For a limited time, you can get up to $250 in free crypto bonuses when funding a new account on BlockFi, where you can use cryptocurrency to earn interest, borrow cash, and buy or sell crypto. If you want your free crypto, use the link in the description. It also helps out the channel. And if you'd like up to two free stocks, check out the link in the description to Weeble. If you open a new account, you'll get one free stock valued up to $250 just for opening an account. And if you fund your account with $100, you'll get a second free stock valued up to $1,600. Unless you don't like free stocks, that is. And if you're in Australia, the UK, or New Zealand, you can get a free stock with stake also using the link in the description. Let's get back to it. 11 years ago, almost to the day, things were very different. In fact, at the time, you would have thought Toyota was positioning themselves to be a dominant player in the electric vehicle space in the coming decades. Unfortunately, things have gone rather awry since, due to the moronic leadership of the company steering the ship directly toward an iceberg. How did things go so awry? 30th of June, 2010. Tesla Motors and Toyota Motor Corporation intend to work jointly on EV development. Toyota Motor Corporation to invest in Tesla. Tesla and Toyota today announced that they intend to cooperate on the development of electric vehicles, parts, and production systems, and engineering support. The two companies intend to form a specialist team to further those efforts. TMC has agreed to purchase 50 million of Tesla's common stock issued in a private placement to close immediately subsequent to the closing of Tesla's currently planned initial public offering, IPO. Quote, I felt an infinite possibility about Tesla's technology, said Toyota Motor Corporation President Akio Toyota. Through this partnership, by working together with a venture business such as Tesla, Toyota would like to learn from the challenging spirit, quick decision making. <laughs> oh God, yeah, hindsight, yeah, anyway. And flexibility that Tesla has. Decades ago, Toyota was also born as a venture business. By partnering with Tesla, my hope, hope is not a strategy just for the record, my hope is that all Toyota employees will recall that venture business spirit and take on the challenges of the future. Now a quote from Tesla, Toyota is a company founded on innovation, quality and commitment to sustainable mobility. It is an honor and a powerful endorsement of our technology that Toyota would choose to invest in and partner with Tesla, said Tesla CEO and co-founder Elon Musk. We look forward to learning and benefiting from Toyota's legendary engineering, manufacturing and production expertise. So a quick summary of where we're at at this point in time. More than a decade ago, Toyota and Tesla were in bed together, working together on technology, production systems and electric vehicles, okay? This was a great situation for Toyota to be in. Tiny investment from their point of view, you know, $50 million, who cares, it's not really much at all. They get early access to this technology, some great insights, and the ability to tap into this incredible startup company, Tesla. So, I mean, pretty bullish signs, right? Tesla, Toyota partnering back in 2010, Toyota also investing $50 million in Tesla, getting some of their stock just before the IPO. Pretty good start, right? Very bullish signs, Toyota wanting to learn from Tesla, their culture of innovation, etc. July 16, 2010. Tesla Motors and Toyota Motor Corporation formalize agreement to develop electric version of the RAV4. 
Tesla Motors and Toyota Motor Corporation today announced that the two companies have signed an agreement to initiate the development of an electric version of the RAV4 with an aim to market the EV in the United States in 2012 Prototypes will be made combining the Toyota RAV4 model with a Tesla electric powertrain. Tesla plans to produce and deliver a fleet of prototypes to Toyota for evaluation within this year. The first prototype has already been built and is now undergoing testing. October 14 of the same year, Tesla and Toyota team up in a $60 million electric RAV4 deal. And let me summarize what happened in the ensuing years. Between 2012 to 2014, Toyota's electric RAV4 featuring Tesla's powertrain was sold in the United States and then discontinued. You know what else started selling in the United States in 2012? That's right, Tesla's Model S, which won literally every award ever, including the car of the year. Now, you'd think that Toyota at that point in time would go, oh shit, this Tesla mob, they've actually got some really damn good technology. And this car's winning awards. Maybe we can sort of further this partnership, expand this partnership a little bit more. But no, unbelievably, that was the end of the partnership between Toyota and Tesla, relationship over. But at least Toyota kept their stake in Tesla, right? Yeah, don't worry guys, don't panic. Toyota did actually keep their stake in Tesla. Well, for a little while anyway. Toyota dumps stake in Tesla as former partners become rivals. 2017, I read on. Toyota and Tesla aren't so friendly these days. The Japanese auto giant quietly sold off its stake in the US electric car maker last year as in 2016, ending a six-year partnership between the two companies, a Toyota spokeswoman said on Monday. Quote, The stake sale firmly establishes Toyota as a rival to Tesla, said Masahiro Akita, a Japanese auto analyst at Credit Suisse. Sorry to burst your bubble there, Masahiro, but uh, this was a big assumption to make, wasn't it? Another quote, Toyota originally had a strong, cutting-edge reputation with its hybrid electric vehicles, Akita said, but now the market considers them as a follower in the electric vehicle business, and maybe Tesla the leader in terms of brand image or reputation. Now Toyota needs to recover its previous position. I think these are reasonable statements there from Akita, but the problem is I don't think Toyota were listening. The sale was part of a regular review of Toyota's investments, the spokeswoman said, noting that a contract between the two companies to build electric vehicles together ended in 2014. Skipping ahead a little bit here, Toyota announced in November 2016 that it was stepping up its own electric vehicle efforts, creating a special division for their development. There was no mention of Tesla. Another quote, Tesla has developed beyond being a test bed for interesting electric vehicle technologies to becoming a fully fledged competitor of traditional automakers in the electric vehicle space, said James Chow, Asia Pacific Managing Director for consultancy IHS Automotive. I'd just like to take a moment to send my condolences to Toyota here. They're in bed with Tesla, they had a great partnership going on. Tesla releases their own product, the Model S, absolutely slaying it, winning all sorts of awards. Toyota, instead of furthering and expanding that partnership, leveraging the early access in this intimate relationship with Tesla, instead decides to arbitrarily sell their stake in Tesla stock sometime in 2016. They didn't need the money, yet they still sold their stake. Meanwhile, 2016 is when I began buying Tesla stock. And for what it's worth, I mean, we don't know exactly when they sold their stake. Let's say it was around February 2016. Tesla stock up about 2,000% since. I don't know the exact numbers here, but my best guess, the stake in Tesla, if Toyota still owned it, would be worth 20 plus billion dollars. At this point in time, it was blindingly obvious that Tesla was in a dominant position in terms of the electric vehicle market, had incredible technology, winning all sorts of awards, and beyond that, even if they didn't have the access to Tesla's technology, surely the fact that this company was growing, their product roadmap, their plans for the future to bring this mass market vehicle, the Model S, then the next generation vehicle as well, should have given Toyota pause to go, you know what? Maybe these electric vehicle things, maybe the time for the electric vehicle things is now. Maybe they're ready for prime time. Maybe we should expand our efforts into EVs even more. Yet somehow, the blind leadership of Toyota totally missed this. I mean, seriously, guys, it is truly astonishing that Toyota made this decision to sell their stake in Tesla in 2016. With their experience in the automotive industry, plus their insight into Tesla, their direct partnership with this company, awareness and insight, information that no others had access to, it's just incredible. Now, to be clear, I personally believe that Tesla from 2010 to 2012 was a very high risk investment. They still needed to ramp their flagship product, the Model S, that could have gone really poorly. The company could have gone out of business. There was a very high risk there, but Toyota could sustain that. A $50 million loss, a small write down, no big deal for a company of that size. The period of 2013 to 2015, 
moderately high risk. Tesla was absolutely slaying it with the Model S. Obviously, EVs ready for prime time, incredible performance, absolutely dominating. Yet, of course, they still hadn't begun production or even unveiled their third generation product, the Model 3. But by 2016, when Tesla unveiled the Model 3, in my opinion, the risk factor was close to zero. Now, I'm sure there's going to be some dimwits in the comments. Oh my God, they could have gone bankrupt. They nearly went bankrupt. Listen, we can have a one-dimensional discussion about this. And sure, you could say, oh my gosh, yes, they struggled to ramp production. Elon Musk said they nearly went bankrupt. That oh, was really tough. I get all that. But here's the thing. By this point in time, Tesla could have raised money at the drop of the hat. They literally could have gone to the market and said, yep, we're having some issues, guys. We need to raise some more money. Help. And they would have got plenty of help, okay? This is the kind of thing you think of as an investor and go, you know what? What's the worst case scenario here? If you go one layer deep, yes, Tesla could have gone bankrupt during the Model 3 production ramp. But in reality, that was never a possibility. Even if things went more pear-shaped than they did, Tesla could easily raise capital from the markets, okay? There's no question the Model 3 was a make-or-break vehicle for Tesla, the company. Tesla unveiled the Model 3 in early 2016. By that stage, Elon Musk had a phenomenal track record. Big institutional investors who'd been backing Tesla from day one knew EVs were the future. Of course, they'd be willing to invest further in the company if needed. It wouldn't have been great for existing shareholders if the stock price got pummeled and Tesla had to issue more stock and dilute existing shareholders. But there's no question that they would have been able to raise the capital. I mean, months earlier, SpaceX had landed their first reusable rocket. People already understood the capabilities of the leader of this company. So my point here is by 2016, I'm like screaming from the rooftops at everyone that will listen to me. Guys, Tesla stock, Tesla stock, Tesla stock. Here's why, here's why, here's why going all in with all my spare resources. And to be honest, I probably would have began investing earlier in Tesla stock, taking on a little bit more risk, but I was still investing in real estate. I only had limited resources. I wanted to borrow as much as I possibly could from the banks until they said, Stephen, you can't borrow any more money. So that's exactly what I did. When I ran out of borrowing capacity, I started saving, then began buying Tesla stock. The point again is just truly incredible that in 2016, Toyota made the decision to sell their stake in Tesla and they didn't need the money. And now that we've taken the time to look back more than a decade ago to see a very promising start with Toyota EVs and the Tesla partnership, then their inexplicable sale of their stake in Tesla in 2016, right at the point where other people were going all in on the stock, we now get to the crux of the video and why I believe Toyota are doomed. The world's number one automaker today is showing every sign that they won't be in business in a decade's time. What am I talking about? Let's find out. Here we are over on electric. I quote, Toyota delusionally claims hybrids and fuel cells will stay competitive with electric cars for the next 30 years. By the way, guys, in case you're really bad at math, that's 2050. Toyota is sticking to its delusional belief that battery electric vehicles aren't necessarily the future as they claim hybrids and fuel cell hydrogen will stay competitive for the next 30 years. For years, the Japanese automaker has invested in hydrogen fuel cell and hybrid vehicles while talking down battery electric vehicles. A far cry from the early days in 2010, right? This bad mouthing of electric vehicles has often come directly from CEO Akio Toyota. You know, the surname Toyoda sounds a lot like the word Toyota. Hmm, let's look into this a little bit more. Akio Toyoda is a Japanese business executive and the current president of Toyota Motor Corporation. He is the great grandson of the Japanese industrialist Sakichi Toyoda and the grandson of the founder of Toyota Motors. Huh, well what do you know? Did Akio Toyoda end up as president of Toyota Motor Corporation through competence? Or family bloodline. Just asking the question. I have a funny feeling that we now understand why this guy has no idea what the fuck he's doing and is going to steer this company into imminent bankruptcy. And look, I don't want to be too hard on the guy, all right? But here's the deal. I have a problem with incompetence, as I said earlier in this video. And clearly, based on his track record over the last half decade or more, the guy is clearly incompetent and is steering this company toward imminent bankruptcy. By the way, speaking of incompetent leaders of automotive companies, shout out to Mary Barra and GM's investment in Nikola and Fraudstown Motors. I'm not a hater, just mentioning a few useful data points. This bad mouthing of electric vehicles has often come directly from CEO Akita Toyota, who as recently as last year was spreading misinformation about battery electric vehicles. Despite the fact that the company announced an acceleration of its electric vehicle plans last year, the automaker keeps its rhetoric that hybrids and fuel cell hydrogen vehicles are still part of the solution, despite those vehicles still being powered by fossil fuels. Now, Toyota is claiming that non-electric options will still be important for at least the next 30 years. You only need to know one thing. Toyota today, in 2021, are publicly claiming that non-electric vehicles will still be important, relevant, up until the middle of this century. 
It's all you need to know. They're going bankrupt. In that one line, everything you need to know. When answering a question from an investor about the company's battery electric effort, Shigeki Tarashi, a director at Toyota, said that he believes alternative powertrains will continue to compete for the next 30 years. Tarashi, speaking from Toyota's headquarters in Aichi Prefecture, said that in the years leading up to 2050, different options including hybrid and fuel cell vehicles need to compete against each other. Toyota executives then used the occasion to again spread misinformation about battery electric vehicles by claiming that raw materials used to produce batteries can be more polluting than internal combustion engines. They made the claim without mentioning materials used to build batteries can be recycled, while once gas is burnt in an internal combustion engine, it becomes harmful emissions, and that's it. A recent study that looked at the complete life cycle of battery-powered vehicles versus gas-powered vehicles showed, including mining raw materials, found that BEVs are hundreds of times better than petrol cars when accounting for the full emission cycles. So I think you guys have heard enough. Toyota had a very promising start partnering with Tesla back in 2010. Just imagine the things it could have been if Toyota had actually leveraged that partnership and scaled things up rather than abandoning the partnership a couple of years later. Of course, we also know that Toyota foolishly sold their stake in Tesla in 2016. Slow clap for that decision, whoever made that one. I hope you're not still working at the company, but honestly, you probably are. And then in the last half decade or so, Toyota have actually become anti-electric vehicle, spreading lies, misinformation, literally spreading FUD about EVs. And beyond that, today, based on their public statements, they seem to be under the delusion that electric vehicles aren't the future. Now, maybe they haven't understood that the declining cost of batteries mean that EVs are close to price parity today. They're about to hit price parity maybe the next year or so with internal combustion engine vehicles. And then after that, their costs will continue to plummet. Because unlike internal combustion engine vehicles, a mature technology over a century old, EVs are still super early. That means that in, let's say, 2025, no consumer in their right mind is going to want to purchase an ICE vehicle because an EV is going to cost them less to buy and far less to own and maintain. And Toyota's entire business today is pretty much based on the internal combustion engine. They're dabbling a little bit in hydrogen vehicles and hybrid, but let's be honest, both of those are barking up the wrong tree. Hybrids are a joke. The complexity, it's so convoluted. You've got internal combustion engine vehicle plus some battery. That is an engineering nightmare. It makes zero sense. In the short term, it was a good solution until battery costs came down, but <laughs> spoiler alert, the battery costs have come down and they're going to continue to decline. Now, I can only draw two conclusions from this. Either the people at Toyota running the company are literal morons and steering the company towards imminent bankruptcy, I think this is likely, or they're publicly saying things they don't actually believe to be true, spreading lies and misinformation about EVs, and still strangely investing in and pursuing hydrogen fuel cells and hybrid vehicles as a guise to somehow try and eke out a few more highly profitable years selling internal combustion in vehicles before they let the company implode almost overnight. Toyota need to be aggressively pursuing electric vehicles now, and they're not. And this is why I believe that they are unequivocally, 100%, completely and utterly f***ed. Toyota's failure to capitalize on and fully leverage their partnership with Tesla back in 2010 is going to go down as one of the biggest business mistakes of all time. Mark my words. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. As I've mentioned previously, Tesla's pretty much going to single-handedly disrupt the entire internal combustion engine industry and put most of these legacy automakers out of business. And Toyota really stand out, not only because they're the world's largest automotive manufacturer today, but because they are far and away the most likely to go bankrupt the soonest. Incompetent leadership, embarrassing comments. This is an absolute train wreck happening in slow motion. So grab your popcorn and enjoy the show. And let me know in the comments below, what's your prediction for when Toyota Motor Corporation goes bankrupt? I'm Stephen Mark Ryan. This is Solving the Money Problem, and I love you all. And don't forget, if you'd like up to $250 in free crypto bonuses with BlockFi, use the link in the description. You can also get two free stocks with Weeble and a free stock with Stake, also linked in the description. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, if you have any ideas for future videos, let me know. I read all your comments. P.S. If you're still watching, you're awesome. If you'd like early access, exclusive videos, regular Q&As, our private Discord server and more, consider supporting the channel at patreon.com slash solving the money problem so I can keep creating content for you guys. There's a link in the description. You can now also become a member of the channel for some exclusive perks. To learn more, click the join button next to subscribe. And don't don't forget to check out our merch store. Either way, the best form of support is you being here and watching, so thanks again.